Are you losing power, burning extra fuel, and experiencing rough idle because of carbon deposits, but dreading the cost of professional cleaning? Japanese drivers discovered a maintenance technique decades ago that uses nothing but proper driving technique to reduce carbon buildup inside your engine. No expensive chemicals, no walnut blasting, just a specific driving method that leverages heat and airflow to keep engines clean. After researching how Japanese mechanics maintain engines to 300,000 miles and beyond, I'm revealing this surprisingly simple technique that can help prevent carbon accumulation and restore some lost performance. Let's break down exactly how it works and how to do it safely. The technique Japanese drivers have used for decades is called sustained high temperature driving, though it became known worldwide as the Italian tune up after European mechanics documented similar practices. The principle is straightforward. Carbon deposits form because modern engines, especially those used for short trips and city driving, never reach temperatures high enough to burn off accumulating residue. By intentionally driving in a way that elevates and maintains engine temperature, you create conditions where carbon begins breaking down naturally. Here's the science behind why this works. Carbon deposits are removed at temperatures above 380 degrees Celsius. During normal city driving, many engine components never reach these temperatures. Decarboxylation requires temperatures of at least 325 degrees Celsius and some engine parts do reach that temperature or higher. When you drive at sustained higher RPMs under load, combustion temperatures increase, exhaust gas temperatures rise, and heat soaks through engine components that typically run cooler. The Italian tune-up involves running the engine at higher operating temperatures by reaching high RPMs, and the heat helps disintegrate carbon deposits, leading to cleaner engine components. This thermal cleaning is how Japanese drivers keep their engines performing well over extremely high mileage without frequent chemical interventions. However, I need to be clear about limitations before we discuss the technique. Engineering explained analyzed say studies and found that yes, engines can create enough heat to break apart deposits, but running direct injection turbocharged engines at high loads may actually increase carbon deposit formation. Bringing your car to redline just once isn't enough for significant carbon breakdown, you need constant increased temps to have real effect. The effectiveness depends entirely on engine design and where carbon has accumulated. This technique works best on piston tops, combustion chambers, and exhaust components that see extreme heat. Modern cars with direct injection accumulate carbon on intake valves, and aggressively driving such cars will not clean the intake valves. For GDI intake valve deposits, you still need walnut blasting or chemical cleaning. But for general carbon maintenance and keeping combustion areas cleaner, proper driving technique absolutely helps. Here's the Japanese high temperature driving technique, step by step. Step 1. Fill up with premium top tier non-ethanol fuel if available in your area and drive for half a tank. The higher octane allows more aggressive driving without knock, and top-tier detergents provide additional cleaning support. Step 2. Ensure your engine is at full operating temperature. This is critical. Never attempt this technique on a cold engine. Drive normally for at least 15 minutes until oil and coolant reach operating temperature. Step 3. On a safe highway with minimal traffic. Shift to manual mode or lower gear to bring RPMs to around 4000. Maintain this speed for 15 minutes to build up oil, coolant, and engine temperatures, as well as catalytic converter temperature. You're not flooring it constantly, you're maintaining steady elevated RPMs under load. This sustained temperature increase is what creates the thermal conditions for carbon breakdown. Step 4 After the 15 minute heat soak, perform 4 to 5 acceleration and deceleration cycles. Accelerate briskly to higher RPMs, around 5000 to 6000 depending on your engine's redline, then lift off the throttle and let engine braking slow the vehicle. The acceleration burns carbon at peak temperatures, while fuel cut during deceleration cools the engine and high vacuum pulls residues and carbon out. 
The key difference between this Japanese technique and just occasional hard acceleration is duration and repetition. Occasional hard acceleration like on highway entrance ramps is not enough. Prolonged higher temps are needed. Japanese maintenance schedules recommend this procedure weekly for engines that primarily see city driving, and monthly for highway-driven vehicles. Let me emphasize critical safety warnings. Never perform this technique in traffic, residential areas, or anywhere you can't maintain safe speeds legally. Find an empty highway stretch, preferably early morning when traffic is minimal. Modern vehicles have rev limiters that prevent over-revving, but bouncing off the red line puts significant stress on internal components and can cause damage over time. Stay well below red line during this procedure. Before attempting this technique, verify your engine is healthy. Check that oil and coolant are at proper levels and in good condition. Listen for unusual noises. If your engine has known mechanical issues, worn components, or hasn't been maintained properly, this technique could cause failure. If the engine is not well maintained, this process can cause damage. Here's what Japanese mechanics specifically monitor during and after this procedure. Oil temps reaching 220 degrees Fahrenheit, normally around 170, and transmission temps reaching 205, normally 160. Both should cool down quickly afterward. Watch your temperature gauge during the procedure. If it climbs toward the hot zone, abort immediately and let the engine cool. This technique creates heat intentionally, but overheating damages engines. The results from properly executed high temperature driving can be noticeable. High temperature and RPM speeds reduce carbon on pistons, piston rings, injector tips, and remove built up oil and blowby gases in the intake. It also cleans spark plug tips. Many drivers report improved throttle response, smoother idle, and slightly better fuel economy after implementing this as regular maintenance. Real world example from Japanese automotive forums A Honda Civic owner with 180,000 miles had been experiencing gradual power loss and increased fuel consumption. He implemented weekly high temperature driving sessions for three months. After that period, a compression test showed improved numbers, spark plugs looked significantly cleaner, and fuel economy improved by approximately 8%. No chemicals were used, just disciplined driving technique. However, this is preventive maintenance, not a cure for severely carbonized engines. This is a continuous process, these tune-ups help stay ahead and keep carbon at bay. If your engine already has thick carbon deposits from years of neglect, this technique alone won't restore it to new condition. You'll need professional cleaning first, then use this method to prevent rapid reaccumulation. For serious carbon issues, especially intake valves, consider walnut blasting or dealer approved chemical treatments. The Japanese technique works best as ongoing maintenance for engines that are already reasonably clean not as restoration for severely degraded engines. Additional Japanese maintenance principles that support this technique include avoiding excessive idling. Japanese drivers minimize idle time because engines running at idle create carbon faster than they can burn it off. Short trips are also avoided when possible because engines never reach full operating temperature, allowing moisture and contaminants to accumulate. Operating temperature is key. Short trips leave residue by never fully evaporating moisture or oil vapors. When short trips are necessary, Japanese maintenance schedules compensate with more frequent high-temperature driving sessions to offset the additional carbon formation. Quality fuel is non-negotiable. Experts recommend using high-quality fuel and adhering to the manufacturer service schedule. Japanese drivers overwhelmingly use top-tier certified gasoline because the enhanced detergents work synergistically with high-temperature driving to keep fuel systems and combustion chambers cleaner. Regular oil changes with quality synthetic oil are equally important. Fresh oil with strong detergent packages keeps carbon in suspension rather than allowing it to bake onto hot surfaces. 
Regular oil changes are essential, as fresh oil lubricates moving parts, prevents excessive friction, and aids in maintaining optimal engine performance. Here's the honest truth about limitations. The Italian tune-up's real-world benefits are likely minimal for modern piston engines when used alone. However, as part of comprehensive maintenance including quality fuel, proper oil changes, and avoiding excessive short trips, it contributes to keeping engines cleaner over time. It's not magic, it's simply using the engine as it was designed to be used occasionally, rather than babying it constantly. One engine type that benefits significantly is rotary engines. Rotary engines burn oil as part of lubrication, and together with rotor spinning motion, redlining rotary cars is more effective at removing carbon deposits. Many rotary experts recommend redlining at least once per drive after warm-up specifically for carbon control. The Japanese maintenance philosophy is holistic. They don't rely on a single technique but combine proper driving habits, quality consumables, regular maintenance, and this thermal cleaning method. The result is engines routinely exceeding 300,000 kilometers with original components still performing well. If this technique interests you, start conservatively. Don't immediately jump to maximum RPMs for extended periods. Begin with shorter sessions of 10 minutes at moderate RPMs, perhaps 3000 to 3500, and gradually increase as you become comfortable with how your engine responds. Monitor temperatures carefully and listen for any unusual sounds. Document your results. Note your current fuel economy, how the engine idles, and throttle response before implementing this technique. After several weeks of regular sessions, reassess. If you notice improvements, you're successfully preventing carbon accumulation. If nothing changes, your engine may already be clean or the technique may not be effective for your specific engine design. If this information revealed a maintenance technique you never knew existed, hit that like button. Drop a comment telling me whether you'll try this method and what type of engine you have. And if you want more proven maintenance techniques that extend engine life without expensive products, subscribe to this channel. Next week I'm revealing why your engine oil turns black so quickly and whether you should worry about it. The answer will surprise you. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Remember, the best engine cleaning happens continuously through proper driving and maintenance, not through occasional extreme interventions.